There's a lot of people out there that think they know the goal swing. But the truth of the matter is, is that most people have worked on and are working on the complete incorrect things for their goal swings. The complete opposite of what they should be working on. Believing perhaps something like this with the head moving out towards the golf ball and slightly down, that it's a mistake. But the best players in the world are doing it. Or that the head moving out towards the ball would make the hips move towards the ball. And often the complete opposite is true. The way the modern day players are swinging through the golf ball, it just makes it so hard to hit the ball to the left. Clearing through the golf ball with huge rotation, with the lead shoulder so high, getting great tilts, they can hit the ball harder and harder. They have to move their bodies and push themselves to get into these positions to compete. I'm not expecting all senior golfers to get out there and do this and bend their shoulders down to 60 degree angles, but I am expecting golfers to improve and understand the technique and the advantages. I mean, look at Brooks Koepke here with 64 degrees of shoulder tilt. Not everybody can do this. Now, we've had some interesting videos recently about this area, and it, you know, it's a sensitive topic, but we're seeing time and time again these players, the advantages they can release more underneath, moving out slightly down and rotate through the golf ball, plowing into this golf ball and turning the club head into a battering ram. Often looking at the drivers, we're seeing that their shoulder plane points down towards the tee. Now, looking at Victor Hovland, what a great player he is. You know, leave your comments underneath here, guys. Is Victor going to have back operations? Is he going to you know, be in lots of trouble when he's older? Because we can see through the golf ball. Have a look at that for tilt through the golf ball, 64 degrees. The head's moved out and down. You know, and a lot of people believing in the golf swing still these days that the lead wrist shouldn't move into extension. Another area. Now, recently we showed a different angle with Victor, and because of the amount of rotation, we can see that their backs are quite straight through the golf ball. Is this the area that's going to save them? Let's have a look at some incredible drills. I mean, we've seen great players use this in the past, and they haven't been injured. I'm going to show you something easier, something in the middle that makes it just a little bit easier. One of the best drills, I believe, really there is, I'm going to show you that, how we can move our head into a position that really complements the tilt and turn. That's towards the end of the video. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. What Glass Golf Instruction, we're reaching so many people. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Swing Analyst Training with me, unlimited WhatsApp contact. Let's get stuck into some incredible clips, some drills, some videos. Let's get to understand technique better and get ourselves moving in the right direction. So people, getting the right side of this face to stay down through the shot as the head and the chest and the torso clear and open. This is such a great move. And we just got to understand that this is really a move that so many great players have, have used over the years. It really helps us open up our torso. It's not looked at enough when we're looking at opening up the upper body. Okay, but you can open it up correctly. If you're getting the cor correct tilts through the golf ball, it's such a great way to free up, pick up your speed, free up your swing. And if we're not, if we're turning and we're not getting this neck tilt, and we're not getting this right side to stay down, it's really affecting us. When we get into impact, if you can still touch, if you're getting into impact and you've got yourself really turned and opened up and if you can still touch the bottom side of your knee with your right hand you've got sufficient side bend you know a lot of videos out there telling people to get the right shoulder to the golf ball but for most people that do that they're pulling the ball a lot to the left the right shoulder won't get to the golf ball that's way too far forwards but what we're looking at doing is getting your nose or your left eye over the golf ball at impact and when we can touch that right knee, you've got really got some great feels and some sensations to, to practice with and move through the golf ball. You have to stay flexible. You should be really working on, we show a lot of people on the world-class golf instructions some fitness in there, some great stretches and drills to really help people stay mobile and using our bodies much more effectively. So people, right, for a lot of the club players out there, you know, looking at uh, when we're getting this left side to really extend this left shoulder uh, to lift up, the right side to shorten. We're seeing a lot of the club players just leave the club slightly open, just push the ball slightly to the right and uh, just hanging that face just a little bit open. For a lot of the advanced players, they'll tend to hit the ball immediately better 
by clearing and having this left side high. But if you are a person that gets out there and you do slightly push the ball, you notice that you are pushing it. We just need a touch more left hand forearm rotation here just to balance it out. It's not much, but just by moving through the ball, you're just going to get a feeling of your lead thumb just pointing more towards the target. And for a lot of you out there, if you're getting that toe of that club up towards 12 o'clock here through the ball, you know, that's going to be a good place to be. The drive will tend to rotate a little bit more. Some of the shorter irons a little bit less. You can experiment around with that. So, people, Ryan, if you really want to improve your ball striking, you've got to have a go at this. Have a look at this, right? This move, I'm not in the magic moves, but this move really is something. And you can, I get a lot of questions if you can tilt your head on the side like that with iron shots. Of course you can. I'm going to show you something in a, in a second. But to help you get the appropriate amount of tilt and turn and to shorten your right side and extend the left side or your lead side without thinking, this is the move. And we're going to take a look at how we can, we're looking at the ball from a slightly different perspective here. We're looking at it from this side, but it really does free up the entire motion. It makes it so hard to hit it left. Now let's just have a look at something here. I want you to have a look at this. I mean, Jason Day is one of the best short game players in the world, right? We know that. But see if you can see this. I want to pay attention. Have a look at his head. Watch this. Just as he changes over. You see the tilt? Watch that. So you see his head tilt? Now, when you're confident you're moving through the ball really well, you'll do a little bit of this naturally. When you're not, we tend not to do it. So if the ball's slightly in a divot sitting down, if you just move your head and tilt and move through this way, it frees up your entire motion. Your left arm stays on your chest and a whole heap of positive things happen through the golf ball. And it's just by getting up to the top. I'm going to show you how to drill right now, how to feel this, how to practice this. This is transferable to the golf course. You can take it straight out there. And it's not like Hovland, and it's not like Kupka. I mean, when we look at McElroy through the ball, it's sort of, for the normal player, we can get closer to this type of movement. You know, it's in the high 40s. It's not too bad. We've got the left shoulder up over the head. But what happens when we turn? Now, listen to this. When we turn our chest and we tilt, we hit the ball more on the way up. If you open up your torso a little bit more, have a look at McElroy at impact. See how much he's turned? See how much he's opened up his upper body? Now, Dr. Neil from World Class Golf Instruction did a test on him. It's around 50 degrees, 55 degrees open with his torso at impact, which is a lot. But it helps us hit the ball on the way up. So see that ball there? See how he's hitting that on the way up? Watch this club head move through the ball. And this is going to help you hit it further. Tilting the head on the side, guys. Reach out to me for an online lesson. We're reaching so many people, world-class golf instruction. Your online lessons, you've got unlimited WhatsApp contact with me, Zoom calls, Skype calls. It's in conjunction with world-class golf instruction. We've got 1,300 videos on that platform. And there's a lot of stuff we're not showing you know, on YouTube, the senior series, and a whole lot more. So guys, let's get stuck in a way where we can feel this drill and incorporate this movement into your entire game. It's an unbelievable uh, position and move to bring slowly into your game. So people, right, the McElroy move. Now, the important message here to understand with this right eye lowering through the ball is it helps to get the correct combination of turn and tilt to allow us to get the correct delivery of the club into the golf ball but it's a basic thought and feel used when we see it in slow motion by so many great players, McElroy doing the best. Now, what we're looking at when we talk about too much tilt, not enough turn, we get over this way, we're way behind the ball with iron shots, we're hitting it fat, you know, we're probably coming too far from the inside, a lot of advanced players have this problem. The other one is too much turn and not enough tilt, and we get ourselves really in an awkward place. We can't deliver the club, it's coming in too steep, your angle of attack, you're probably from the outside. But getting a combination of the turn and the tilt is where this right eye does a fantastic job. Let's go through it. Now, when we get to the top of the swing and we just simply lower the right eye. So what it does, what it promotes is the lowering of the right shoulder down to the right hip. But because the head's turning, it really promotes that the upper body is turning and out of the way. Now, don't forget Dr. Neil from worldclassgolf.com, my partner on worldclass.com, worldclassgolf.com has measured Rory McIlroy with biomechanics and his chest, his torso, his upper torso is 55 degrees open at impact. I mean that's a lot because he's got 
tilt and turn. And this is one of the great reasons, one of the great areas here of this move is the lowering of this side. Now, what you can do or what you can feel when you get to the top, what you probably feel when you do it, is you'll feel that the club almost lays back a little bit on itself and you'll feel some pressure on your index finger on this base knuckle. Now, it's so hard to hit it left from here. How good is it? How good is it in golf to plow through a shot and not hit a left? To take left out of play. And this move really is, when I say it's a magic move, it's a great thing for your golf swing people. And it's not disruptive, it's a swing thought. You get out in the course and you can do it. When we're thinking about all these things in our backswing, it's often in the way. So get to the top, tilt your head and just, you know, just stay there for a second. It's a, it's a different look. It's a different perspective at the ball. It feels a little weird at the start, but when you get through the ball, it promotes all sorts of extensions and rotations and your tilts and your turns into one package. Guys, worldclassgolf.com, we have evidence-based material. We're giving people the chance to get online lessons at a high level, cheaper price. Guys, 1,300 videos. We've got low spinning wedges, compression, lag series, and it's all in in one place. If you want me to be your personal coach, jump on board there. We're doing online lessons, swing analyst lessons, that's what it is. And it's the same as these YouTube videos with my voice over. They go between 20 and 30 minutes. You're seeing your screen, your swing on the screen, and there's tailored drills and exercises. Guys, invest in your game. Have a look at there at worldclassgolf.com. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.